I'm Kim and today we're going to be taking a look at the first five things you should be doing after you install Endeavor OS with a couple of bonus tips. And we're going to start straight off the bat with a bonus one. So if you hold on Alt and click Spacebar you can see we get this little K runner up here. Click over here and put it center apply ok so you can see now it shows up in the middle so now you can search for stuff it's just I like it in the middle okay next thing is system settings I like dark uh, wallpaper or dark themes and I don't hate animation stuff that makes stuff look slow and this is the most important part when you click something, it selects the item, it doesn't open them. And then hit apply. You can see now we got uh, dark mode here. And it doesn't work 100% perfect like as it would uh, on your regular machine. But in the VM you get sort of artifacts like that sometimes. Bonus tips. Now we're gonna uh, type console. A little bit like so we're gonna make the font bigger command control shift uh yeah control shift and then the plus sign so if i go here i can open up cat or cat five things uh five just f5 and hit tab these are the things we're gonna go over i'm gonna enter a new tab here there we go i got it and make the font bigger again so you can see we're gonna enable fs trim which is a trim of your ssd so if you have an ssd this is an absolute must to pre preserve it and keep it healthy so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna type in sudo system ctl and i enable fs trim dot timer like so you gotta type in your password hit enter now we're gonna start it sudo system ctl start fs trim dot timer hit enter and now we're gonna just make sure that it started so sudo system ctl status fs trim dot timer oh that, i spelled the status wrong so here you can see it's active we're all good to go there so it's gonna discard unused block once a week now if you hold on control click l you're gonna clean up your terminal the next thing we're gonna do is install uh, time shift and time shift auto snap so we're gonna use yay which is built into uh, Endeavor OS from the get-go. It's an AUR helper a package manager which helps you install packages from the AUR which is the Arch user repository. So you just type in yay time shift hit enter. You can see we have a couple of numbers on the side here and we're gonna install these two packages so one and two. So you just hit one and space two hit enter uh, since I'm on a VM, I'm not going to keep the make dependencies after the install, so I'm going to hit yes to remove them. I usually do that too, just to save space. Uh, when I'm on a regular machine, hit enter, hit enter, enter, and put in your password. And now these are all the dependencies. We want to install them, hit yes, and it's going to run through the setup. So I'm going to speed this up in... Uh, post for you okay so we're done installing it now we can alt and spacebar we can type in time shift hit enter type in your password because you need uh, sudo access for this and you can see I have a few different ones here but I have this is the third time I'm uh, making this tutorial just because something weird happened with 
uh, OBS, so it just only captured half the screen. So hopefully this the third times the the charm. So I'm gonna delete these ones. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. So what you're gonna be greeted with here is the visitor. So once you log in, you're gonna see this screen. So you see it says rsync and btrfs. BTRFS is a file system. So unless you installed your OS with BTRF, BTRFS or BetterFS, ButterFS, however you want to say it, don't choose it. Use rsync. So hit next. And here I recommend that you use an external hard drive that is Lux encrypted as well in EXT format. And you choose that one to put your backups on. I don't have it since I'm on a VM, so I'm just going to choose the root folder here and we're going to go uh, next. Here you can set up your policies for uh, the retention rate of your snapshot. So you can mark all of these and this is you're going to keep five boots in your snapshot. You're going to keep five, six hourlies, five dailies, four weeklies and two monthlies and you can go and change it to your every preference how you like it. Okay, uh, I'm just going to leave it on this for now. Since this is a VM, I don't need this. This is just for illustration purposes. So hit next. And here you can see it says user home directories are excluded by default unless you enable them here. That means that keeping it on this setting here, exclude all files, will snapshot or backup all your system files nothing that's in your documents downloads and music and that stuff but you can if you wanted to you can back them up by include all files that makes the snapshot images bigger or you can just do your hidden files which are your dot files the files that have a dot in front of them we're going to be I'm going to be showing you Copia. That's what we're going to use to back up our uh, home directory. And uh, so we're just going to keep it here. Exclude all uh, files. Hit next. Get you the setup complete. Hit finish. So now how you use this to take a snapshot is you just hit create. It's going to run through it here. It's not going to take very long since you don't have much on your computer. See, it's done. Have the snapshot here. You can double click here under comments and just write demo uh, tutorial. So, but you want to name it something so you know at what time you took it, even though it says here, but you could have uh, be before something you go and try and mess with something in your system settings and you break your system. So now you know that, oh, if we go back to this, that was right before I messed it up. So now if you wanted to restore, you can just click that, hit restore here, and it will take you through a restoring process. It's just confirming. It's going to ask you twice if you, you're really sure you want to restore the system. And they can't be hold, uh, liable if it breaks or something doesn't work out right. But I have done this many times, and our uh, time shift has been perfect every time. Now, if you was messing in uh, dot, uh, slash Etsy, for example, and you messed up one file, you could you can go here, mark this one, hit browse, and now you see you have Etsy here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So we have Etsy here. And let's say you messed up this file here, uh, ADJ time. You just mark it. Hit copy, control C. Now you can go out here to your encrypted disk, go back to Etsy, and we see we have the file we messed up, but we don't remember what we messed up here. So we just want to restore that file. Hit control V, and you can see that you can just override it if you wanted to, but the files are identical, so there's no need to it. But that's how you could restore just a single file. Okay. So we're done with the GUI portion. I'm going to show you now how you can access uh, TimeShift from the command line to 
from your shell. So that would be uh, sudo time shift dash dash help will give you after you type in your password uh, all the commands overview over it how you, how to use it. You can also do man time shift and that will give you a different view of everything here how to do stuff. Just hit Q to quit. If you want to clear the terminal, Control L clears it. So let's see our snapshots. sudo time shift dash dash list. And here we can see we have the two snapshots. You will only have one, probably the one you made from the GUI. Okay, so now we want to make a time sh uh, a snapshot. So you take sudo time shift dash dash create dash dash if you want to make the comment comment and here you can say uh, tutorial demo cli and just hit enter you can see here it's telling you uh, the progress and it went good successfully so now if we go back up time shift list we can see we now have three snapshots or two snapshots for you probably and since we um, let's see sudo time shift dash dash help if you wanted to restore and do it you could do sudo time shift dash dash restore now you can see here you have one uh, zero one and two so now you just enter the snapshot number you want to restore from I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna take too long so I'm just gonna exit out of this cool clear the terminal here cat five things so we have done 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 bam 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 so sudo dash s h top we're gonna install h top now sudo uh, pacman dash s h top yes enter it's done it's very quick to install so now all you need to do is type h top enter and yours is not going to look like this i like i said i did this three times this is or two times before this is the third time so i'm going to show you how you get yours to look like this and get your clock speeds and, and stuff and make it uh so you have here a tree and then the branches underneath it's so it's more organized but first if you had something to uh, a process you need to kill you could hit f4 to filter search for it so we could do uh, uh, let's say command console there so if you wanted to kill console it's gonna quit on you so I don't recommend doing it hit f9 and enter see this it enter it quits on you so console h top make it bigger h top there we go so if you hit f2 you get into the settings menu and you use the arrows to move around so i like this here and you mark and unmark them with pressing spacebar so three view is always sorted by pid h of two behavior i marked that one and we go down here to also show CPU frequencies and also show CPU temperature. It require, requires lib sensors uh, library or dependency install as well. I don't have it, but you can install that very easily. It won't work here because I'm on a um, virtual machine. At least I have never gotten it to work, but it will probably work for you. Just hit Q to exit. And that's it. Uh, that's my five things you should do first after installing Endeavor OS with a couple of tips. And uh, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. See you all next time.